What is up everyone? Welcome back for another video. Now anybody checked out the last video update on the 428, you know I spray painted the intercooler piping wrinkled black. It turned out absolutely amazing and I said that one of the things that I wanted to do was get the uh, intake manifold wrinkled black as well. Well we got it here in the shop today with the bucket and some purple power and uh, so basically what we're going to do since this thing is really nitty gritty, it's gross, um, we're going to let it soak in some purple power probably until tomorrow and uh, that way we have a nice clean surface for this paint to go onto. We are using standard VHT wrinkled black paint. Uh, this is not a powder coat or anything that we're using. It's just standard stuff you can get at AutoZone, Vance Auto Parts, O'Reilly's, what have you. So. We want to make sure that we have a super clean mating surface for this to go into. That paint right there is very, very, very picky. I noticed when I did the intercooler piping, even with the way I got all the intercooler piping hot before I spray painted, you could tell where the cooler spots were versus the hotter spots, which I guess that's with any paint, to be honest. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set the camera up real quick. We're going to dump this in here, put some purple power in there. I got a little brush here. We're just going to see exactly how clean it's going to come apart. I would love to get this done today, but that's not going to happen because we still got to tape up a couple things like where the sensors go uh, and all that stuff. I want this to look like a professional did it, even though I am by no means a professional. So let's get started. All right, let's dip. I really want to dip this piece first, but that's not going to be the piece that's seen as much as this one. I mean, I still want them equally clean. Um, that's actually going to submerge the whole thing. That was something I was going to be concerned about. Get some purple power in there. So we may, I may have to come back later on and dump that one. So this may not be something it'll get all done at once. Put quite a bit of this stuff's not really expensive. I want to make sure it's clean. Let that sit in there just for a second. We're going to let it kind of work its way in. Then I'm going to scrub a little bit and see. I would love to get this thing clean enough to where we can do it here in just a little bit. I don't know. I don't know, man. It looks like it's going to be kind of loose dirt. Unless just something's fake, though. I know that thing's getting down to business pretty hard. She's looking, man. I would love to go get this thing painted today. I know that's just not gonna happen. It's killing me. I know that I can't get this thing painted today. Alright guys, so right now I have got everything cleaned up. I got the heat gun set up, basically blowing into the intake manifold. I want to go ahead and get it kind of warm to help dry up some of that water. But this is also how I'm going to get it warm in order to paint it because the wrinkle black does need heat to, be, uh, to react the uh, wrinkle, to bring the wrinkle out in it. Now, this right here probably won't be sufficient enough to get the wrinkle to activate everywhere. Like right here and in other areas are not going to get as hot as the main areas that are traveling that hot air. So do this and then when you're done you're going to want to basically take the heat gun and then hit those spots that are not activating. The one thing I did notice from last time you want to put a pretty decent coat on this stuff right here. Uh, if you put a real thin coat it's not going to activate anywhere near the way you want to. Anyway let me let this dry up and then we will be back and then we will start our first coat. We'll get this guy heated up too. Uh, hopefully this works out pretty good. This is about as clean as I can get this thing man. These things are really dirty. Um, I wish I had a sandblaster or something. That would have made a lot of difference. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing taped up. When we come back, we will be ready to paint. All right guys, so we got her all preheated. I got the heat gun set up right here to hit those little spots that need a little extra love. Let's go ahead and lay down some heat.
can't see me. All right, let's get this ugly piece. Um, hopefully not ugly no more. So here is the finished product. Uh, I still had a couple little spots that I needed to touch up right here. I messed up after I got done taping. I realized the tape had kind of overlapped. So I did have a couple things I needed to do touch up. I really honestly didn't need to do that because the way the intake manifold is going to sit on the car, you're not going to see that. But it's, I'm going to know it's there, and that's going to be what bothers me. But all in all, let me get this where you can actually see it. I mean, it couldn't have come out no better. Um, man, it came out good. Um, absolutely perfect as far as I'm concerned. I mean, literally it came out better than the intercooler piping, uh, which intercooler piping was the very first time that I used wrinkled black. Let's check out this piece, it's still kind of drying. I don't know how good it's gonna lay on this piece because this one didn't come nowhere near as clean as I would have liked to. Um, and as you can see, it didn't exactly activate everywhere. The wrinkle didn't, um, but this is gonna be kind of hidden under the fuel rail. We're gonna clean up that whole harness. I'm gonna actually custom make a harness to clean up everything in here. Um, as far as the fuel rail goes, that way it just looks better on the car. And we're gonna paint the fuel rail uh, purple to kind of match everything else that's going on. I don't want to overdo the purple, but I do want to, my camera's having a hard time with those transitions right there. But anyway, uh, I don't want too much purple, but I want just enough. Um, <clears throat> It's gonna be absolutely awesome when it gets done. That's why I'm, I'm hating the head studs aren't here. The progress that I've made hasn't been as much as I wanted to just because I know I'm waiting. But the way I look at it, it just gives me more time to fine tune the final product. Um, and that's what we're after because I want this to be one of the sickest 428 builds um, on a log manifold anyway. I'm looking at even making a custom made stainless steel shroud to go over that manifold and hide it. Because once you put those manifolds on, about one or two starts, they get rusty looking. They just look like crap. Uh, so I kind of want to hide that with a stainless steel uh, shroud or heat shield. And uh, we'll see how that goes. I still need to polish up the transmission a little more than it is. I've done cleaned it up miles better than what it was. Man, my camera hates when I come out of the garage and then go back out here. Look, it's still trying to be like, where are you at, bro? But uh, yeah, other than that, I mean, it's going to be nice. I mean, as you see, she looks like Dookie right here where I haven't cleaned her up. There's no reason to wash her. Um, we've still got all the, the body work going down. So, um, <clears throat> man, my shop is an absolute nightmare. It looks it, when you look through a, an LCD, you can see all of it at one time. And you're like, damn, this is not good. But anyways, that is the video today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, in the next video, I'll probably have the manifold all put together. I ain't got the gasket set in. I'm waiting on it to show up right now. They keep sending me the gasket set that I don't know what the, the second gasket goes to, but the one that goes in between where the manifold comes together, it keeps missing that one and giving me a different gasket in its place. So uh, I just went to AutoZone, ordered it that way. That way I'm not dealing with some other internet. I can just take it back, get my money back. They mess up. Um, unfortunately, AutoZone does quite a bit, but they are my favorite um, parts retailer. Anyway, guys, that's been the video. Make sure you smack that thumbs up. Make sure you smack that subscribe button. You're not going to miss this 428 content. This is going to be the best 428 content on YouTube. Um, I've sat down and watched some other people, and um, there's one dude on there. I actually am kind of following his build. He's got some pretty stuff, sick stuff going on right now. It looked like he was wiring in a mega squirt. Anyway, keep up the good work, dude, and uh, we'll catch you guys next time.